This is Steven Turner, and in this screencast, we're going to show you how to uh, create a new repository on GitHub and how to push changes and pull changes from that GitHub repository. So assuming that you already know some basics of using Git for version control, such as adding things to your staging area and committing things to your local repository, here we're going to talk about collaboration using remote repositories. So typically you want your remote repository to live on the internet somewhere so that you and others can access it at any time, regardless of whose computer is on at the time. And today we're going to use GitHub as a remote repository to push our changes up to it so that others can look at it and potentially contribute to it. Uh, at the same time, you'll, you'll get a taste of a, of a very simple and, and easy to use text formatting language called Markdown. So I've already created a new directory in my home directory called My New Project. And in this directory, I have a file called readme.md that I've created. The .md is the conventional extension for a markdown file, which we're using here for documentation. So if we just take a look at what this looks like, we can see that we have a title, some placeholder text, a couple of headings, and some bullet points at the end. So if we initialize this as a Git repository, if we run a Git status, we'll see that we need to add this file. So if we git add readme, Let's commit those changes. So at this point, we want to create a new repository on GitHub. So if we go to our GitHub account, we've already signed in. Let's create a new repository. I'm going to name it the same thing as I uh, had they named the directory on my computer, and it's called My New Project. So I'm going to keep it public. I'm not going to add any of these things down here. And I'm going to create this repository. So this is the important part. We need to link our local repository to our remote repository. And this code down here does that. So it's telling get to add a new remote. We're going to call it origin. It doesn't have to be called origin, but we're going to call that call it origin here. And here's the URL that we're going to use for the remote. So if I copy this text or this code and I go back over to my command line, I'll just paste that text into here. Again, that's saying add a new remote, let's call it origin, and here's where that origin lives. So if we do that, let's run git push origin master, and this is telling us to push our local changes to the remote called origin, and we're going to push our master branch. So if we do that, that runs, we go back over to GitHub, and then we refresh this page, we can see everything that we've committed to our local repository, including the entire commit history, uh, which is only one commit at this point, has been pushed to our remote repository. So I can go in, for instance, and edit this file here. Let's edit the file using GitHub's built-in text editor. I'm going to edit the file. Let's add, this is a link. So this is how you would add a link to google.com. So if we commit those changes, let's say we added a new link. We commit those changes. It shows up down here. We've got a new link that goes to google.com. If we go back to our command line and we now type git pull, we want to pull changes from the origin uh, remote repository. And we're going to pull things from the master branch. If we run a git log, I'm going to do a one line here so you don't see my email address. It shows us our commit history, and it shows us that our latest commit was the new link. And if we take a look at that file, we can see that we have the new text that was added on GitHub.